Hey everyone, uh, it's Amphuse, and uh, today I've just got a Cinema 4D tutorial. Um, so, basically, what I'm going to be doing is making a short picture, but the text is going to have a bit of animation slash plugin <laughs> inside of it. So, uh, let's start. You want to go straight to your uh, render sense, go down to output, and change width to 1280. Height to 720, and as this is just going to be an image, you want to do current frame. That's fine. Make sure that's on HDTV 16 by 9. Then say you just want to put. I usually put this as a PNG. Where is it? Here it is. PNG. Save it where you want to save it. Um, then you want to go to anti uh, aliasing. I think that's us, I don't know. <laughs> then you want to go best still image options, just leave that. And then basic, uh, what I would do is put on ambient occlusion, go to effects, ambient occlusion, and change the contrast to 15%. And then put the globe, and then go to effects, global illumination, change the gamma to 2.2. .2. That's just a new gamma for. Well, if if you don't have a Mac and you on if you have a Mac and you're running Snow Leopard, I advise you to put 2.2 .2 on gamma, because then you're using the most out of your Mac. If you don't, just leave it on what it is. I think it was on one, so just leave it on one. Anyway, let's get started. What you want to do? Click on and hold on this light with four arrows coming out diagonal, and you want to go to floor, and you want to click and hold hold on it again and go to sky okay and then basically you just want to add your text so mograph text object and then you want to go down here you want to put it in the middle and what should we call it should we call this hmm tutorial there you go that's fine pick your font I'm going to pick, I'm not even sure, I'm going to pick a font called F.C, FC Barcelona, <laughs> and then you want to add a bit of depth, so I changed that to about 50, and then you just want to click on this button up top here, top right, click that, and then click this one here, and you want to make sure that, that all the text is above this red line, a tiniest bit. Just about there. I'm not even sure I changed moved it then because this font's fine, but still. Then if I was you, I would go to caps, fill it cap, fill it cap, and change the number five to two on both of them. Gives it a bit more of a round edge. It looks a bit nice, nicer. Then what you want to do is go to, you can double click or go file new material, but just double click. What you want to do is go to color, and this is for the colors, obviously. You just want to make a nice blue, and I'm just going to leave it that blue at that. It's fine how it is. And I'm just going to drag that on the text, and then you want to make a nice darkish, uh, just a dark, you can even do a dark grey, or to get the full effect, you want to do a perfect black. Then you want to go to reflection, tick that box. You want to click on this texture, you want to go on the arrow, hit for now. And then you want to bring the brightness down to around 4 or 5%, and the mix strength up to around 30%. Gives it that outer shine there. And then I'll untick specular, as it's just a fake lighting effect. And what you want to do as well is drag that on your text. Okay. And you want to. Uh, make sure the blue is on the right hand side of the, the textures and then you want to click on the blue and then here it says selection you in capitals you want to type in C1 and then unclick it and it gives it a night it, it gives the front a blue effect and the outside like a dark shiny effect I'll quickly render out and show you it
All right, uh, so that's done. So as you see, above the t uh, the above the text, it gives a nice shiny gloss effect, and on the sides, it does part. Oh, it does give a nice effect as well. Uh, the blue is just a nice natural blue, and if you see below the text, it gives a little bit of a shadow. That would be the global illumination. And if you've seen while it was rendering the little spots, that's also the global illumination. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is highlight the text, and you wanna download a plugin called Frassy. The link will be in the description. And once you've downloaded and installed it, you wanna go to Plugins, Frassy, and then Frassy again. And this is how many pieces your text is going to be split up to. I'm only gonna do a couple. So maybe I'm going to do 17. So actually maybe let's bump it up to about 25. And then you want to go to break now. If you see it's all breaking up. And basically what this will do is break up all the uh, all of your pieces of the text and if you press play you'll see what will happen. Okay, so all that's done. Just want to close this down. Alright, and what's going to happen is you'll press play and the text will just fall through the ground. It's a little bit laggy, but you know. Alright, that's not the effect we want. There's two ways to do this. You can either right click on the full and go to MoGraph Tags, Mo uh, Rigid Body. And what that would do is that when the text breaks, it would just bounce across the floor. But in this tutorial, I'm going to show you something different, which I uh, haven't seen a tutorial before. I'm going to go to Edit, Project, Settings. You're going to go over to Mode Dynamics, and then where it says Gravity, bump that down to zero, and then watch what happens. As you press play, the parts fly through the sky, as there's no gravity, and if you just turn your camera a bit, you get a nice little effect of what's happening. Go behind it, it's all being cut up, and it looks nice. Um, if we get a nice little view of this. Maybe looking down on it, and maybe let's bump it back a few frames just to uh, just to see what is really happening. So I say there's a nice look. Maybe a few, yeah, round about there. So if you see, so it goes to tutorial and then it all gets split up. Um, you can make this into an intro, and you can time when you want it to break. Uh, you can time so um, that well not time you can make instead of going in the air you can make it bounce on the floor um, I'm going to quickly render this out to show you the final product Okay, so uh, now that's done, you can see it's a nice effect, there's nice shine and uh, some overall, it's a nice picture to be honest. Alright, so what you want to do next is make sure you have uh, selected a save destination, I haven't, but you know, I'll just do desktop, I'll call it, what should I call it, tutorial. Alright, and then to do it to save it and render it this is the same for intros once you've done the destination point what you want to do you don't want to click this arrow in the corner you just want to hit this right in the middle and it will render okay so uh, thanks for watching this tutorial uh, please subscribe to my channel um, and goodbye